I'm your host, Pat's Path Director, and we have breaking news. All right, so this is the situation we have right here. Bonnie is now a hurricane. I repeat, Bonnie is now a hurricane. We have the latest satellite imagery. We need to take a look at the cloud tops because an eye is developed, and we're looking at minus 70 to minus 80 cloud tops pretty much on the western and southern side of this thing, and it is starting to wrap around the center of the, uh, uh, the center of it. Uh, and a very powerful eye wall is starting to develop right here, so we're gonna have to pay attention as time goes on. Let's go ahead and take a look at what the NHC says. This is the latest from the National Hurricane Center. Satellite images indicate that the maximum sustained winds have increased to near 80 miles an hour. It was at 70 in the last advisory. Now it's 80. Additional strengthening is forecast during the next 48 hours. Hurricane force winds extend out 25 miles from the center, and tropical storm force winds extend out 80 miles from, uh, from the center. And the minimum central pressure is 987 millibars. I, said, I don't think I said 30. I meant 25. Please excuse that. But yeah, the minimum central pressure, 987. It, it has dropped eight millibars in the last six hours. So this thing is now rapidly intensifying. It has met the criteria at one millibar per one hour for 24, uh, well, not exactly. It's 24 millibars for 24 hours, but if you average it out, it's one millibar an hour. So it's met that criteria right there. So we're gonna have to pay attention to that. Uh, hazards affecting land rainfall. Outer ba uh, rain bands of uh, the north of Bonnie's track will bring periods of heavy showers into portions of southern Mexico through Monday night. These uh, bands are expected to produce between one to three inches of rain across southern uh, uh, Oaxaca and, uh, and Guerrero, uh, Guerrero uh, with locally higher amounts in the southernmost uh, parts of Oaxaca, uh, Oaxaca, Oaxaca. Excuse me. So that's basically the, the hazard we have. It looks like the outer bands are going to be impacting this thing if this thing is uh, so. Yeah, that's basically what we're looking at. This is the cone. The NHC is now expecting this thing to peak at 110 miles an hour. That is a high-end Cat 2 hurricane, ladies and gentlemen. So this is what we're looking at. It's expected to remain a hurricane for the next five days as time goes on. So we'll have to pay close attention to that. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at the track models and the intensity models. The track models have a continuing move to move to the west northwest, and then it starts moving a little more to the west due west right here into the Pacific, further in the Pacific Ocean. Uh, this is close enough for, uh, to land for potential uh, for potentially strong winds and rain for this thing to to impact the coast. Now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the intensity because this one is very important. Even though it is staying out to sea, we need to pay attention to this. As you can see, it's already a hurricane, and the vast majority of these models now indicate this will be a category, at least a Category 2 hurricane right here. And we have some models going up to major hurricane status. We have 1, 2, uh, 3, 4, 5, uh, 6 models now at Category 3 strength. So my estimation remains between 90 miles per hour and, uh, and 120. I'm actually going to uh, up it from uh, 90 to 100 miles per hour to 120 miles per hour, because that's the range we are looking at right now. And if we take a look at the satellite imagery, this thing is not slowing down in its intensity. It is continuing to organize. It's continuing to strengthen. That eye wall is really starting to come in very strong. So we will have to pay attention to it as the time continues to go on. With that being said, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the models right here. We're going to go ahead and start with the HMON model. I've been taking a look at uh, at this. This will be for later. The HMON model, as you can see, it starts to develop. It, it's already at uh, 987 millibars by 10 p the 10 p.m. advisory. So the it's the, this Bonnie is now on track with the HMON. It continues to organize. It eventually will bottom out around 978, 978 millibars at first. It'll start to weaken and kind of stagnate. And then it'll start to re-strengthen slightly uh, up to 975. It'll bottom up at 964 millibars, continuing to do that. And then it'll start uh, kind of stagnating. And it's, it's expected to re-strengthen. We're looking at this right now. At its peak, if you were looking at the H Mon right here, we're looking at potentially high-end category three status with the H Mon right here. So we're going to have to pay attention to this as time goes on. I know this isn't going to be making imp impact on land, but we still have to uh, pay attention to it nevertheless. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and go to the GFS. So the GFS is a bit interesting right here. This continues to develop, organize, strengthen into a, into a more powerful category one hurricane before it kind of of stagnates and then it starts intensifying again 
and ramping up, eventually bottoming out around 965 millibars as uh, as last time. Potentially high-end category two status with this thing if the GFS is the correct one. And then it starts weakening and just moves out to sea and dissipates right there. So we're gonna do that. Do that now. We're gonna go to the H wharf model because this is very important right here. This is a very interesting situation we need to take a look at. The H wharf and H mon have been the two more accurate models for this uh, hurricane right here. So we're gonna have to pay attention to those as time goes on. Is it gonna remain uh, more accurate? We don't know. I'm just we're just taking a look at the models right here. But the models are saying this thing's going to is organizing into a hurricane. Bottoms out, uh, bottoms out originally at 974. Then it potentially undergoes some sort of eyeball replacement cycle, and then it starts strengthening again. Uh, down, bottoms out at 962 millibars right here. And then it kind of uh, we stagnates, potentially undergoes an eyeball replacement cycle, and then it starts strengthening one more time. And this time, this goes all the way down to 952 millibars. And if we're taking a look at the max winds right here. This is potentially category four status right here, uh, if, uh, if because if we're looking at 850, we're looking at uh, th we're looking at 137 knots. Uh, you basically you convert that to miles per hour. You re uh, you reduce it uh, you reduce it to around 10 to 15 percent, and then you re uh, then you tr uh, then you convert that back. So that's either high end cat three or low end cat four status right there. I don't think it's going to get to category four status. That is a bit outlandish right there. But I do think major hurricane status is possible. And we're going to have to keep an eye on it as time goes on. But with that being said, we're going to wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It is right down there. It is really easy for you to do. It helps me and helps me make more videos like these. The goal of this channel is to get more people engaged with weather. But with that being said, guys, have a wonderful day. Stay safe.